The Jharkhand High Court in its order dated March 1, 2024, has referred a maintenance case back to the family court since the order was passed ex parte without the income affidavit submitted by the wife. A single judge bench emphasized that even though the order was passed ex parte, the affidavit of disclosure of assets and liabilities must be filed by both parties in all maintenance proceedings as per the directions given by the Supreme Court in Rajneesh v. Neha judgment. So what was this case all about? The wife in this case had filed for maintenance under Section 125 CRPC at the family court in Ramgar in the year 2020. In February 2022, the family court passed an ex parte order against the petitioner husband directing him to pay rupees 5,000 per month to his wife and rupees 1,000 per month to his minor daughter until she gets married or gainfully employed. The husband was directed to pay this monthly sum by 10th of every succeeding month. Now the husband challenged this family court order in the High Court. He claimed that this order was passed without his knowledge, assuming his monthly income to be rupees 25,000 to 30,000. He informed the High Court that he was a B.Tech graduate but currently unemployed. Now what are the arguments made by the wife? The counsel for the wife argued that the petitioner deliberately did not join the proceedings at the family court and the counsel also said that the maintenance amount ordered to the wife was only a small amount. The Jharkhand High Court, after going through the evidences on record, uh, observed that the income affidavits of both parties had not been placed on record in the family court. Justice Anubha Rawat Chaudhary, uh, in this present case, uh, said that even if the proceeding was ex parte against the petitioner husband, still the wife was required to submit an affidavit uh, you know, with her assets, liabilities, source of income, etc. The High Court was of the considered view that the matter requires a fresh consideration by the court, uh, by the family court, after complying with the directions issued by the Supreme Court in the case of Rajneesh versus Neha Supra. Accordingly, this matter was redirected back to the family court, asking both the parties to be present along with their respective affidavits before the family court. While the family court was ordered to pass a fresh order within three months, the husband was directed to pay the current maintenance till the modification of the earlier order. Subsequently, his revision petition was disposed of. What are your thoughts on this case? Do leave your comments below. You can read all the articles uh, on voiceformenindia.com. This particular article I'm leaving in the description link of this video. You can also follow us on our social media handles, which is X, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram at the rate Voice for Men in. And do hit that bell icon so that you can be updated with all the latest videos as in how we broadcast them. That's it from me as of now. Thank you very much for watching. Namaste. Jai Hind.